Hey guys, so I am an educator at Unacademy and you can follow me over there if you are interested to watch videos on basic concepts of chemistry or physical chemistry topics. You can also recommend this to your juniors and to your younger siblings, right? All you need to do is download the Unacademy learning app and watch my videos over there. Now let's just begin with our topic. All right, so in this video, I'm going to talk to you about your Niper JE exam. All right, now what is Niper JE? I know many of you don't know what is Niper JE. So Niper is basically an institute which is called National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research, and it comes under the Department of Pharmaceutics, basically directly under the central government. All right, and uh, there are different fields, and they provide you a good stipend. Generally, what you are what you get for GRF. All right. Now for chemistry students, you have these fields available to you. One is medicinal chemistry. Um, for this, you need to have MSc in organic chemistry, right? So your specialization should be organic chemistry. Then you can apply for this field, uh, medicinal chemistry, all right? And then if you are an organic chemist, you can see over here, if you are an organic chemist, then you can also apply for natural products, all right? Um, all right. And for physical chemistry students, there's a good news that there's a field called pharma in, pharmacoinformatics. Uh, where organic physical students are eligible. So if you are if you have done MSc in physical chemistry also even then you are eligible for pharmacoinformatics, right? And what happens in pharmacoinformatics? It's basically uh, kind of like computational chemistry, but it's a sub it's a sub part of computational chemistry in computational chemistry you will be specially focusing on uh, uh, you know quanta, computation chemistry related to pharmacy like related to medicine so you'll be you'll be studying about your drug receptor interactions right and what kind of interactions takes place you might be developing new software so it's it will be basically related to your drugs all right base, base, base various interactions of drugs with receptors so you'll be basically you you like your work would be computation chemistry but you will be uh, you can say restricted to this this particular field only pharmacoinformatics right for for more details you can just search what is pharmacoinformatics you get a greater detail all right then you can also do pharmaceutical technology uh, process chemistry this is only for organic chemistry students in this basically whatever reaction is reported you try to do it in bulk amount bulk means basically how can you increase the whether you can do it on a large scale or not that's what you do in process chemistry right so this is that particular field um, so this all comes, uh, comes under discipline of chemical sciences so uh, there will be a for all these fields, for medicinal chemistry, natural products, pharmacoinformatics, and pharmaceutical technology, for all these four fields, there will be a general exam, all right, uh, which which will have questions from organic chemistry and uh, you know some questions from uh, uh, natural products, organic chemistry, and also there will be some questions based on computational chemistry, like QSAR, then various softwares that are there in computational chemistry. So this uh, chemical sciences will comprise of all of these parts, all right. Uh, the question paper if you want i will definitely make a video on the kind of questions that are also asked in your um sniper j exam all right now you might you are also uh, eligible for biotechnology if you have msc in organic chemistry like you can see over here you are eligible for biotechnology also but i don't th think uh, you will be like um, you know you would be able to clear the exam because as such the chemical sciences paper also has a lot of uh, medicinal chemistry and it's difficult for a, uh, for a normal student to clear this exam it's very it's really difficult so if you have to give uh, if you want to give biotechnology then it will be even more difficult because this paper will consist of questions from biological sciences which, are, which will have pharmacology and toxicology pharmacy practice pharmaceutical technology biotechnology so i don't think you will be able to answer these questions uh, being a or uh, being a chemist all right it will be really difficult now uh, coming on to the eligibility so um, I'll, if i talk about the eligibility you should have a minimum of 60 percent marks if you are from general category all right and you need either gate or net okay either you should have a gate or net exam so here they have written passing of gpat or gate or net is an essential qualification okay so this you have to uh, this is the main criteria that you need to a qualified gate all right so the last date for the admission is 22nd of may the last date for registration is 22nd of may so try and register before 22nd of may uh, okay and uh, the only uh, thing that i found which is not convenient for you guys is uh, that the uh, registration fees is very high the registration fees is around 3000 so many of you i think uh, would find it uh, quite high and it's actually high right it's quite high for a registration so um 
it's up to you it's a good institute if you get through this institute uh, especially naipur mohali naipur mohali is nothing but naipur sas nagar sas nagar is mohali so it's near chandigarh this is one of the very good institutes like the best amongst all the naipurs and it's ranked number 1 in the category of uh, pharmaceutical pharmaceutics or pharmacy right so if you get a chance definitely go for scs nagar so the procedure is basically apply for the uh, registration uh, once you get get registered first of all you need to qualify either gate or net once you do that you apply for the registration you qualify this exam as well and once you qualify you will be called for the interview if you are in the top let's say 50 or 60 students and then you will have a interview and based on the interview a merit list is going to be uh, generated and accordingly you will be assigned seats right so it's it's a quite a a tedious process like it's a quite a long process and you need to clear a lot of stages in order to uh, join this institute but once you join uh, this institute and especially i am talking about mohali that is your sas nagar it's a really good institute lot of good facilities and you will just love the atmosphere that you find in this institute right so many of you don't know about this institute so i thought i'll make a video on this um, if you're interested if you're organic chemist or if you're in interested in computational chemistry and you have done physical chemistry you can apply for pharma informatics the paper will be uh, more inclined towards organic chemistry but once you qualify you'll have a really good life at this institute right so thank you so much for watching and i hope you apply and you i hope you get through all right